En una isla caribeña llena de vida y belleza tropical, nace una historia de amor. Cada vez que te veo, nunca tiene la oportunidad de hablarte. ¡Te gusta! ¡Mucho, mucho! Vive la vida de... La Isla Bonita is a locally produced telenovela about life on San Pedro and Burgers Key. The telenovela showcases the good, bad and ugly of living on Belize's number one island. It is yet to find a network home, but this August, its pilot will be screened during the Carifesta Film Showcase in Barbados. It is just one of three Belizean films that was selected to be screened at this regional film festival. We, as a country, did not decide what films would be represented, uh, would represent Belize at the festival. That was left up to the organizers of the film festival in Carifesta. They went through, and, and there was a chance that there would have been none selected from Belize because they were very keen on making sure that the films that were selected were of a high sufficient quality that could represent the Caribbean. Telenovela La Isla Bonita Pilot won Best Dramatic TV Series in 2015 at the Belize International Film Festival. Short film I Had to Do It is a 30-minute film on domestic violence. Back in 2015, it won Most Notable Belizean Film and also got a jury mention for the Best Short Film at the festival. The third film is another short film of 12 minutes called Mana, directed by a Belizean who lives in the U.S. In 2016, it won the most notable Belizean film and earned a special mention at the film festival. These films represent some of the best film work by Belizeans in recent years. Come, let me hold your hand. These three films have been actually going around to quite a few, um, have been applying to quite a few places um, recently. And uh, in fact, I think MANA also won a place in, in a Canadian, in, in the Caribbean Tales Film Festival that's screening in Canada um, in September. We're very happy to, to see that they've been, they've been selected and they'll be screened in the Caribbean because it's been about 10 years since the last, uh, since Katya Paradis' film, Three Kings of Belize, was made and um, very well done documentary about uh, three or four of our legendary musicians, as you know. And it's kind of been the go-to film that we've been using every time someone asks us to submit a film on Belize because up until the, these films were made, um, it was pretty much the best technical content, uh, the best script and technically made film that we thought could represent Belize sufficiently on an international stage. And being represented in Carfesta's film festival is good news for Belize's budding film industry. The screening of these films in, in Carfesta is important because um, we, the, the, Caribbean, the, the Caribbean film movement is, is moving. It's starting to take off. But we're seeing um, a lot of films coming out of Trinidad. They have had lots of incentives for local filmmakers. Um, and they also have been uh, providing some sort of assistance to their filmmakers to travel with their films. So there's more, more uh, conversation about Trinidad films uh, than, than would be if the films by itself went. Uh, we've seen, we've always known that Jamaica has had some films um, and they continue to make films. They're also pushing, they have new drives. And Barbados actually has a film school, the UA uh, section, as well as, um, as, as the Caribbean creatives, I believe. Um, they have a film school, so they're starting to push out films, the graduates, are start, and they've had a few feature films under their belt as well. For that reason, pretty much, uh, when people talk about film in the Caribbean, they automatically think Trinidad or Jamaica. So by having these Belize films out, we become part of the conversation. When they start talking about Caribbean films, they'll say um, Trinidad, Jamaica, Belize will be recognized. So actually, the films and the presence of, of um, actually two of the filmmakers are going with their film. And um, their presence, they should be able to drum up enough publicity and 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 interaction for people to understand that Belize filmmakers exist and Belize film is here and it's going to keep growing. Gracias.
Radio Alborotada. Con un gran elenco talento. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.